Okay, so today from Pacific Tool and Gauge, trying to do this one handed, um, I got a throating reamer set up from them. And uh, I'm going to show you something here. Get both my hands free. Ugh. Okay, so this here is just the instructions. Got my. Here we go. Which that's pretty straightforward, that part of it is. But look at this. This, let me see if I can get this where y'all can read it. Shipped partial. Pink slip. Says the same thing. And I think what I'm missing here, um, this reamer comes with, with a chamber bushing. And I specifically special ordered um, this bushing here that goes on the reamer for 7x57 Ackley Improved, which includes the 40 degree shoulder. But I also asked for the three quarter inch tapered bushing that goes in the back of the receiver because I wanted to make damn sure that everything is centered up as perfect as we can possibly get it when I ream this throat. And I'm gonna have to, I may, ha I may have to do the same thing um, with the neck diameter because I'm gonna be using this. Uh, this uh, Lapua brass that I've got here, this 8x57 brass. Um, and the thing is, um, right now this is a tight neck chamber. And this brass, I'm sure, when I resize this brass, I'm pretty sure that that neck is going to thicken up some. Um, and it may mean that I would have to cut the outside and the inside of the neck out more than I would like to after I resize all this brass. And I haven't done anything with this brass yet because I'm still apprehensive, for lack of a better term. But anyway, if one of you guys have, have used one of these unithroaters before, um, the way this is set up, I should be able to take the barreled action out uh, of the stock, uh, come over here to my vise here, and uh, I'd probably put some uh, uh, cloth in between here too, just to make sure I don't mar the finish on on my paint job here. Um, but set this thing where it's where it's where the barrels up and down, the action is straight up and down, and then um, you put the reamer set up in there, uh, turn it backwards. Uh, until it settles to the bottom of it and then, and then uh, run your brass down. I, you know, all that stuff is is pretty straightforward as far as the way you use this thing. But if y'all have used this without the three quarter inch bushing that goes in the back of the receiver, let me know. Um, uh, let me know what y'all did and how it worked out, okay? Um, and if you have suggestions, please let me know. Thank you.